The objectives of commemorating this year's event was to thank individuals who donated blood and also to encourage more people to become new donors. It was also to encourage people in good health to donate blood regularly as often as is safe and possible to transform the quality of life for transfusion-dependent patients and help to build a secure blood supply. Data from the WHO shows significant increase in voluntary and paid blood donations in low- and middle-income countries. Yet, despite the significant progress, Ghana is still facing the challenge of making sufficient blood available while also ensuring its safety. Speaking on behalf of the WHO country representative, Dr. Sufanias Azrat made the call to all stakeholders to commit to a year-round blood donation exercise. He further urged the government to increase investment to help build a sustainable and resilient national blood system. The chief executive of the National Blood Service of Ghana, Dr. Shelly Owusu-Fori, said she believes with the help of the media and the civil society organizations, more blood donors can be recruited. A mother will certainly lose her life if we do not have adequate blood available for maternal hemorrhage. Um, 25% of, of maternal hemorrhages have been said to be attributed to lack of blood. And if a woman needs blood and doesn't get it, a woman bleeding post-delivery does not get blood in two hours, that woman may count herself dead. A child who has malaria or anemia, who is gasping for breath, sometimes may need as little as three or four tablespoons of blood. And all those units come from volunteers. World Blood Donor Day is celebrated across the world to acknowledge people who dedicated their lives to save others in their times of need. Give blood, give plasma, share life, share often is the theme for this year's celebration. The theme highlights the importance of giving blood regularly to create a safe and sustainable supply of blood that can be available always to patients so they can have timely treatment.